You know, I just could pass for Santa Claus this early morning. Just uh, laying back, I woke up actually early and, uh, out of a dream. And in this dream, I was building, uh, uh, putting the drill pipe technology to use building these uh, portable plug-and-play stoves that could be uh, easily 3D printed. And uh, we all know that uh, the timeline that was given to Chuck Yumbrandt <clears throat> that uh, in one of the winters that uh, Chicago is going to be, 80% of Chicago is going to be without heat in uh, one of the coldest winters ever, you know. So we know that uh, this is coming. We know that oil is going to be cut off in America, that you, you know, gas would be rationed. You know, the natural gas for, and propane would be shut off. So we need to come up with an alternative fuel. And we need to come up with an alternative stove that can easily be made uh, where the design applications can be kept to its simplest uh, breakdown. And so this is where the drill pipe technology comes in. The drill pipe basically is just, just a pipe. And you use a, a donut made out of uh, soapstone and you wrap wire around it. That's what I've been doing that for years and it works uh, fine. And uh, so you put the, uh, you know, the pipe is 16 inches long. You can set the, uh, the swirl device, I call it the swirl device. Say you could you could have two thirds of it could be fire and and the and the first third could be where where your air and your fuel come in so it actually controls the flame. You can either mix the air with the propane and bring it behind this real device. It will work uh, as long as your fuel is is uh, not too high end because if you've got a high end fuel, it's going to tend to blow back behind the swirl device, right? So the swirl device is a controller uh, of sorts. Or you could actually use a rod where you could bring the propane or the alcohol or the water gas uh, just into the eye of the donut. So it actually goes goes ahead and the air comes from the back and goes around. This works perfectly fine. And uh, one of the uh, things about the Joe pipe is that it generates a tremendous amount of heat. You know, I could easily take uh, an inch and a quarter by 16 inch copper pipe and just using uh, uh, propane <clears throat> and a uh, four inch marine fan, I can turn that thing red hot. I mean, the, the copper pipe will not melt, but she'll get like a bright orange, maybe 1,100 degrees, and the exhaust coming out. You can even turn it down where there, <clears throat> where there's no flame coming out, right? Because the drill pipe is a implosion device, implosion combustion. You know, when you first turn it on, you light the outside, you hear whoosh, you see the propane, you know, the, the big yellow thing. And so when you uh, turn down the pressure, it draws the flame back in, inside the pipe where it causes a, a, a slight negative uh, uh, vacuum atmosphere, right? So the flame comes in and it starts to oscillate. So the fire is contained inside the pipe and that's why it, you know, it gets, so hot, gets so hot. You can actually take a pop can and you can make it disappear in about, oh, 30 seconds, you got no pop can, you can totally disintegrate it just, just with the raw exhaust heat coming out of the end, like aluminum pop can, right? And uh, so that's the uh, Joe pipe. And uh, the parts to be uh, 3D, 3D printed would be the applications, right? You'd have the pipe, you know, it could be, you know, inch and a quarter is good, one inch works, you get smaller than that. It becomes uh, very sensitive. The longer the pipe, the more uh, sensitive it is. And the the smaller diameter of the pipe, the more sensitive it is. An inch, the inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter inside diameter, works works you know uh, fairly fine. 
So you need you need to make your plug and play operations uh, to operate on a pipe that's about an inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter, in where you could just slide it in or out into your application, right? And uh, uh, you could even take a take a uh, muffler off of a car, you know, just ordinary car. You take the pipe and just stick it in the end. You have it go and stick it in the end, and you could actually port your exhaust out the window, and your your muffler would get hot enough uh, to where you could you could easily at least heat up a pot of water, but it would get hot, right? So the applications are virtually endless. Just want to make something that that's simple, something that runs on alcohol. Another another thing about the Joe pipe, it can run on any type of fuel. But it has to be in, in in the in the vapor state, right? It has to be a fuel vapor, like uh, you know, if you if you take alcohol and bubble air through alcohol, you get you get a vapor, right? If you take water and gas and you bubble air through it, you get you get water gas. You get a get a vapor, <clears throat> and uh, it actually you can get it you can get it to burn. It's just funny in the Right, fuel alcohol works good. The alcohol does burn pretty hot, even even uh, uh, mixed with water. So you can actually can control the the temperature of the fuel of the alcohol by mixing water with it. But well, we're we're going to have to do something. I don't know how much time that we have, but I'd like to I'd like to see England get behind this, and because uh, in the past they used to do a lot of. A lot of research on, uh, you know, people doing gasification in England. And, you know, when they get a hold of something, they, they, they take the uh, bull by the horn, right? I mean, they really jump into it. So I'd like to see the Joe Pipe technology get out to England where people can start uh, tinkering with uh, different designs, you know, applying their imaginations. But well, we need to get on this, folks. And you know, once we come up with the uh, a prototype that we know that's functional, you know, where you have, where you need to weld and fabricate it <coughs> with a design that's simple enough, then it can be, uh, you know, uh, 3D printed off where you could make make this in, in, in mass and get it out to the people. Uh, my name is Joshua Taylor. I was first given the Joe Pipe technology back in the spring of 2004. And a week later, uh, uh, Jesus spoke to me in a, in a second dream, and he said that the Joe Pipe technology, you know, it wasn't called that back then. Uh, he told me three things about it. He said that the perfection of the fuel will lead to the discovery of unlimited heat. And uh, I didn't understand what it meant at that time, and then it would lead to unlimited energy, right? And he told me the latter part is reserved for his people, but the unlimited heat portion could, could